sunshines it's christy and welcome back to my channel so for today's video i have the much anticipated well i've been anticipating it anyway i'm not sure about you ipsy glam bag x glam bag x ipsy if you want that jingle hit me up y'all i'm in a really really good mood i will try and tone it down but my kids are out of school next week for winter break which means we get to sleep in and this mama she's real real happy so if you haven't heard the word on the street ipsy has a brand new subscription that just launched and it is called the ipsy glam bag x unfortunately they're slapped their ugly label right in the front of this cute box that's okay we'll forgive them but this is what it looks like it is going to be a quarterly subscription box which i think is great think a la boxy lux although i'm kind of thinking i'm gonna like this one better based on my last two boxy luxes we're gonna see so it comes out spring summer winter and fall i really like that this one came out in the middle of february because it's cold everybody's kind of got the winter blues we're waiting for spring so this is something fun to look forward to so every quarter it's going to be customized or curated by someone famous this one was patrick ta he is the makeup artist to the stars but he also has a makeup line and i've never tried anything from him i think if you're a professional makeup artist you're probably the person who really should be curating makeup so i'm excited to see that you can customize three items in this box. Now, just FYI, I was a little bit disappointed. This is the only thing that was a little bit of a bummer for me. They sent the email saying, hey, come over and customize. So you go into Ipsy, you put in your information, and then they say, here's what Patrick has customized for you. And I, I like to be surprised. That's the fun of subscription boxes, right? And before you could customize what you wanted, you had to kind of see what they had already picked for you. So I tried to go fast. There's an item that looks like a torture device from a gynecologist's office. I'm just going to be really honest. And there was a blush that looks really good. Anyway, I did customize three things. I was really, really happy with the customization options. This box is $55, so it is expensive. You get seven to eight full-size products, though, and every box is worth at least $350. I did pay for this box with my own money, and um, I wanted to check it out. I'm going to give you a real review. So let's go ahead and dive in. Before we do that, I wanted to say, if you're new or stopping by for the first time and you like what you see my name is christy and welcome i'm so incredibly happy you're here please consider hitting that subscription button and giving this video a thumbs up this is a super positive place i just want you guys to have a place to come and exhale and have a really good time and to all my tried and true sunshine squad thank you for taking time out of your day to be here all right so like i said when you get the box it looks like this i kind of like that it's not pink Although I'm not a purple fan, I kind of like this lavender. It's really, really pretty. And then when you open it up, ooh, okay. This is what it looks like. So not any like hot, cute packaging with like cute little swirls and everything, but honestly, those are annoying and you have to put them in the landfill. So I kind of like the minimal packaging and there's a lot of stuff in here. I actually think I have at least two things. I know this was something that I used points on. If you're unfamiliar with Ipsy, if you use my link, which I'm gonna link down below, they give me points. If you have a friend that uses your link, they're gonna give you points too. But because I have a lot of people that watch me, I have a lot of people that use my link, so thank you. Um, and I try to use my points to get things to put in future giveaways. I also, um, send out several packages a month i haven't sent this month's packages yet but if you type sunshine squad in the comments of any video and i see you commenting a lot three or four times a month i go through and just pick somebody and say hey you're a sunshine squad winner and send them like little happy mail they may have two or three little goodies in it so i think these were the two things i got this touch and soul lipstick so this is not part of the actual bag this is really pretty. Look at the color of that. Is that the color of the lipstick? Yeah, it's really pretty. Kind of a hot pink. That'll look pretty for um, spring. And then I got a Naked Cosmetics lip scrub. So I grabbed that too. I'm sure this is not $71 like that crazy one in the uh, glossy box was. <laughs> this is probably more reasonable price, but it's going to work just the same. Okay, and then I think I might have got a brush this is like a powder brush i think this was in my add-ons too or maybe i maybe i paid for this one i can't remember but i got this brush and this is by um who is this by let me put my glasses on because i can't read this is by complex culture 
So I think I might have added this on. I can't remember because I don't think I got this for with points. Most things in the bag it, for points are smaller items. So that's really cool. I love the shape of that brush. Isn't that beautiful? It's a powder brush. Oh, this is gorgeous. It doesn't have any fallout. It's dense enough, but it's going to be. Oh, yeah, I like this. Okay, so I'm gonna keep that for myself. And then let's go ahead and get into the box. So the first thing I see is this like, looks like a newspaper sort of, kind of going old school. I think this is Patrick Ta, yeah, that's him. That's who curated our box. And then um, it talks about him. Let's just take a peek, a little gander, if you will, through this and see. All right, so it shows all the different things that could be in your box, customizations, the glam bag exclusives, Glam Bag X, I guess more stuff. Now I did notice, and I was able to customize a hair product in here. I love makeup and I like skincare. I love skincare, but I'm just overrun with it. Um, and I did notice that one of the things I was able to customize was a beauty tool and hair care. So if you don't want a full box of complete makeup, this may be the box for you. All right, let's just go ahead and dive in. This is one of the things I customized and I'm dying to try this. This is a texture spray. As I'm growing out my hair, I just find that as I'm trying to figure out how to style it, it just needs a little bit of hold and texture right here um, to make it kind of stay. And so I've been looking for the perfect texture spray and here it is. I usually use a dry shampoo that has a texture in it, but I haven't been able to find the perfect one. So let's see if we can find out the deal with that. Okay, that's called Air Professional and it's a $28 value. It says volume check, texture check, oil absorption check. So it does kind of work the same as a dry shampoo, it seems like. This versatile dry styling spray refines your scalp and strands while adding lift and grip. That's what I'm looking for, that grip for an unfussy look. So let's just let's just look at it for a second. I usually put it like right in here, like a texture spray. I'm not, I don't have a mirror. But it just gives it a little, little oomph, little volume. Oh, it smells really good. Yeah, I think I like that. And it doesn't, it, you can feel it in there, but it's not sticky. Yeah, I think I'm gonna like that a lot. And a $28 value. And this is again what it looks like. Oh, I'm excited for that. Love the first thing. The second thing that I was able to customize is this Beauty Blender. This is a real Beauty Blender brand. A lot of times we'll say Beauty Blender when we mean just makeup sponge, but this is the real deal. It's in hot pink and the little packaging um, says Queen. And look, it looks like it has a, a crown. I just feel like I can never have enough makeup sponges quite honestly i'm a little bit of a lazy girl and so if i get a new one it holds off me having to wash the old ones um because <laughs> you don't want to use dirty makeup sponges it, it adds to bacteria and acne on your face a lot of times um i don't even see this on here but i do know it was a 20 dollars value i gotta say i like the thought of this in theory but having to go back and forth and look I guess this is more of a me thing because I'm trying to show you. This is kind of awkward. I just like a card. So that that would be my first like kind of ding to it. But I don't know, tell me if that would bother you or if you like this. This just feels like a lot of paper and maybe waste. I don't know. So 20 bucks, that was great. The last thing I customized, oh, I remember, are these Yensa Pink Lotus Peptide Renewal Eye Cream Drops, eight power pack essence. So it looks like this, and it's kind of a small little tube. Really cute, I love the pink. And let's just take a peek of it. Got a small little applicator here. It comes out really fine, I really like it. You kind of have to squeeze to get some out. So you're not wasting it. Eye cream, you just need a little dabble, do you? This whole thing will last me probably nine months. This is a thick boy. This is thick. It's nice though. I almost feel like this would be great at night. But if you have more mature skin, I think this is really, really going to kind of settle in and cover up those fine lines and wrinkles. So when you're putting on makeup, it's going to smooth it out. I like this. I like this a lot. It's a little bit tacky. We'll see if it dries down. 
Okay, it says that that is a $48 value. It says hit refresh on your eye area with this anti-aging cream. Okay, so it's anti-aging. Inside the tube, antioxidant rich pink lotus extract and firming peptides, which together help brighten, plump, and smooth tired, crepey looking skin. Okay, nice. So those are the three items that I customized and then Patrick customized what's in the rest of this box. Okay, so the first one is by Complex Culture, which is the same as the brush that I got. I don't remember, I don't remember adding this on, but I must have. Okay, this is the thing that looks like a torture device from your gynecologist. I'm not trying to be rude or gross or crude, but when I looked at it really quickly, when I was trying not to look at it to customize, I was like, what the heck is that? Okay, look this is what it looks like and i'm not sure what it does okay is there something inside of it the, the end screws off it looks like a battery goes in it okay okay this says it's the sonic oh t-bar facial massager oh okay yes okay i'm here for this here for this I like that you put a battery in it so it's probably gonna vibrate a little begin with a clean makeup free complexion activate the massager with a counterclockwise turn on the round end angle the t-bar against your face and gently smooth it upwards and outwards so upwards and outwards this is probably really good for your skincare to get like the serum really into your skin but also for lymphatic drainage um, for the jawline and chin, smooth the bar down and toward the neck. I feel like I need that. I know a lot of people think I have a thyroid problem, but it's just like settled skin because <laughs> I have this long neck. So I'm always trying to like figure that out. Okay. Ooh, I'm excited for this actually. I was not excited about it when I saw it in the picture, but this has potential. Okay, let's see how much that guy is. I bet it's expensive. If it's got a battery, would you think? Um, it is, oh, $58, that's not bad. It says the glowing skin and sculptured features Patrick creates on his clients. It starts with the right prep, specifically a smoothing and sculpting face massage using the sonic powered tool. Just glide it over your skin to help reduce puffiness, relieve tension and sculpt the features. Now, I will say this bar probably isn't as cold as maybe a jade roller or a pink quartz roller. But it does, it does feel nice. And I'm sure with the vibration, it's going to be nice. Okay. The next thing in here, ooh, we got a Huda Beauty Rose Gold Palette. That's beautiful. Huda Beauty is nice too. Okay, let's see. I hope these aren't scary colors. Oh, she's gorgeous, isn't she? Look at her. She's just stunning. Look at the roses around her. That's beautiful. Look at that pink. I don't know if I'm brave enough to do a pink eye look like that, but isn't that gorgeous on her? I love that. Okay, the Rose Gold Palette Remastered. Okay, oh look. Okay, so it does have a big mirror. I don't wanna blind you, but there is a big mirror. And then this is covering the makeup, a picture of her. I'm gonna cover, use that to cover up the mirror. Ooh, look at the colors. They're kind of indented. Isn't that interesting? They probably just settled. It's just the it's just the um the glimmer uh shimmer shimmer. What <laughs> I don't know what I'm trying to say. The shimmer shades that are kind of like indented. Isn't that weird? But nobody's touched it. They look brand new. Those are beautiful. Look at these. Like these are so my colors. I think these are beautiful. This whole top is shimmers. This color is called Demure. That is stunning. This is definitely wearable. Like the gold, I'm not sure if I would do. Um, this color is called Bubbly. Oh, that's pretty. Look at that. I do a shimmer up on my eyes um, as I finish, like a little topper. That looks like it's gonna be perfect for that. Let's swatch a couple and just see. Mm, that comes out a little bit different than I thought. I thought it was gonna be more um, like white. Oh, that's pretty. Oh, look at that. That's more what I thought this color was going to be. 
That's beautiful. Okay, let's do um, let's do this hot pink. I think this is the one that she has on her eyes in the picture. Oh, that's pretty. Now, see, that's not scary. That's not as hot pink as I thought it was going to be. So I don't think that is what she has on her eyes. There's a gorgeous black, which is great for eyeliner, like under your eye. I love that. The colors in here are so pretty. This one's called Henna. This one looks like it's, wow. Look at the pigment on Henna. That is totally my color. These are beautiful. Really, really pretty. This one's just, it's just called, is it silver? Hold on. This one's called a suede. Let's take it down here. Oh, suede is pretty too. This is wearable. I would wear these colors and they're not scary. I'm going in on them a little bit. They are pigmented, but I feel like with a light hand, I don't do as bright a makeup. You know, I just do a basic brown look, but I don't think that these are scary. And I even think the shimmers are just stunning, aren't they? This I think is a really good palette, probably the best palette I've received in quite a while. I'm gonna go out on a limb and say that. I will review it in my Ipsy Glam Bag later in the month and tell you if I'm still loving it. It says that that is a $65 value. It says with 18 trendy shades in four different finishes, the ultra versatile collection of buttery shadows can be used to create pro quality looks. Patrick's tip, pack on the pigment right where you want it and then take a clean brush or finger to blend the shadow up and out for an elongated cat eye effect okay i really like that what do you guys think of that palette okay we're gonna keep going i think i have oh i still have three more things left so we did get something by patrick ta i was hoping um okay this is a oh it's a blush a velvet blush this is in the color she's passionate all right, if I can open it. Oh, let me just show you the back of the packaging too. Isn't that pretty? In the front, it looks like that. Oh, this is pretty. That's gorgeous. It's, it reminds me of the packaging on Charlotte Tilbury, just a little bit. Very clean, very sleek, but very beautiful. It feels sophisticated. Oh, look at this. Can you see? That is beautiful. Wait, is this? She's passionate. I don't know what the CL, am I missing something? What does the CL mean? I'm not familiar with Patrick Ta, so if you know, let me know. Okay, let's look at this color. This is really pretty too. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, please. Look at this. Isn't that pretty? Now I went in on it. That's gonna be, that's a pretty like all four season shade. I feel like spring, summer, winter, and fall, because look, if you just look at it, it kind of looks peachy pink like spring, summer, but look how nice it looks with the Huda colors that I feel like I don't know, they feel, because they're rose gold, I feel like they feel a little fallish. I think they're all season wear, but look how pretty they look. Aren't they, this is a good, he's done a good job with this curation. I don't know what the CL stands for. Let me know down below. Um, maybe I'm missing something. That's all right. I'm a little short on the uptake or slow on the uptake sometimes. Okay, the next thing is by About Face. This is a Paint It lip color. It's a matte lip color. And it's in the color, mm, I can't tell. Let me see if it says, ooh, look at this. I can't tell the color, it's so tiny. I'll put it on the screen. Um, but this is what the packaging looks like. It even like the lid is like a matte finish. Oh yeah, this is dark. This is really dark, but pretty. It's the perfect like nude, nudie pink. That's pretty. Okay, let's read about that guy. About face. Okay, it says paint it matte lip color. Patrick is famous for creating super saturated lips. So he had to include this matte lipstick from About Face, a new brand for everyone everywhere created by Halsey. It's ultra pigmented and long lasting. To add dimension, add a liner two to three shades darker than your lips. 
Okay, perfect. That color's pretty. I think it's really pretty. All right, if I dropped a box. All right, the last thing in here that I received is by, ooh, Pat McGrath Labs. This is the Fetish Eyes Mascara. I don't think I've ever had anything from Pat McGrath Labs either. I love their packaging though. I've seen it in other unboxings and I'm always um, interested in it just because I think it's so pretty. Let's see if I can open it. Okay, this thing was like Fort Knox to get into, but I did cut it open. It looks like this, just very sleek black packaging, plain gold letters, very simple, classic. Let's look at the wand. I'm a wand snob for my mascara. Okay, that's pretty. I like, is it bigger on the end or is it the same size? It's the same size. There's no like indentions in the middle or larger at the top. It's just a nice wand. I don't have a mirror, it's hard to kind of tell. I can't tell just from the camera. So I'll have to let you know what I think about this too. Are you guys a fan of this? Have you tried this, Pat McGrath? Let me know. Okay, I have to say, loved it. Two thumbs up. I think Ipsy Glam Bag X, Glam Bag X, um, did a great job. I, I'm i impressed. I really like the Huda palette. I really like the blush. What I considered a torture, <laughs> a torture device is actually a really cool thing. I'm excited for um, the dry texture spray. I think that is great. Um, I don't know about this liquid lip. It seems a little bit dark for me. Um, so we'll see. I'm really excited for the beauty blender. I don't know. I thought this box was really good. The eye cream. What did you guys think? It definitely was worth $55. And I think if you wanted just one solid kind of comprehensive, cause I like that it did hair and beauty tools, beauty box, but you didn't want to get a monthly one. I think this one is wonderful. So let me know what you think. I will leave my link down below in case you want to try it. I hope you enjoyed this video, guys, and I will see you soon. Bye-bye.